I'm sure Norway's no hidden secret to many of you. From crystal clear fjords and snow-capped mountains, to the northern lights and the midnight sun, this land has such a diverse change in its seasons and nature. Over the next 50 days, we'll travel through this awe-inspiring country, from the very south to the very north. We'll be driving through some of Norway's most scenic routes, hike a bunch of the most famous hikes in the world, camp by some of the most beautiful places I've ever seen, and go searching for the northern lights up north. Over the past road trips, you've probably seen us traveling in a smaller VW camper van, but it was time to change to a bigger beast. So we headed to the Bully Show in Reuter, Austria, and moved all of our things into our new home on wheels before setting off on this next adventure. After the long drive through Germany and Denmark, we boarded the ferry at Hirtshals, which would take us to the southern coast of Norway. So we're on the ferry on the way to Norway. Good times ahead. Very nice. So we're just arriving into the port now of Norway. Our first stop in Norway was a small campsite in the south called Asnes Camping. We stopped here for a few days to spend some time with Paula, who is Nina's mum. She was returning down south after two months on a road trip that she had just finished with her camper van. The weather was perfect to enjoy sitting around, sharing stories from the past month, grill up some good food and enjoy some wine as the full moon rose above us. Good morning, yoga session done. So, so we've just had dinner here at an absolutely incredible spot. So check this out, the van's parked here and this is our view. Very, very nice. There's even a little fire pit here. So we're going to light up a little, quick little fire. So we've only got a few little bits of sticks. But yeah, pretty nice spot, ain't it? Incredible. Very, very it's beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs>
morning. This is one of the better wild camping spots I've ever been to. I know I say that a lot, but this one is very nice. So here's the uh, coordinates for it. And uh, yeah, highly recommend it if you're in the south of Norway, especially if you're passing through from like Oslo and you're sort of heading west, stop here, it's great. Anyway, time to go and enjoy coffee. So we've woken up here at this beautiful little spot. There was a couple of campers around here. It's just a free wild camp. And uh, I'll leave the coordinates here. So you can enjoy this little piece of Norwegian paradise. So yeah, anyway, off to uh, start this hike because apparently it's about six to eight hours long, which for some hiking noobs like us who haven't been hiking enough lately, it's gonna be long. But anyway, let's uh, show you some nice Norwegian scenes. Hey, we made it. We made it. Only a little bit more. So, we've made it to this absolute incredible rock down behind me here. Only a little bit more to go, but pretty nice hike, you know, to be honest with you. Online, it really made it seem like this hike was incredibly hard and it's a hike, that's for sure, but it's definitely not something that's insane. So, and that's coming from a guy that basically is sitting on his computer for half the day, all the time, so. Great job. Yes, great job too. But let's go down and actually finish the hike before we before we celebrate. Maybe we break our ankle just in ten minutes. Oh <laughs> Shaking. All right, let's do it. How was it? Oh, I'm so shaky. <laughs> uh, if you're scared of heights, it's very, very scary. Yeah, it is pretty sketch to be honest. Like, I just didn't look down. The trick is, if you come here, don't look down before you get out. So just walk to where you know it is. Don't look to your left. Get on it. Yeah. Take like, your photos. It's, but it's pretty sketch. It's definitely wide enough. You know, I thought really it's like super narrow and everything. No, but no. Actually, when you see the stone, it is. But it's still wide. not that big. You've still only got like a yeah, couple of steps like before you're unsane. falling yeah. like so it's more a thousand really, meters. <laughs> it's, it's more really when you're super like scared of heights and you look down, that's like the biggest mistake you can do and that's what I did the first time. Yeah. So actually just don't look down, just focus on the stone and then you'll be alright. Okay, we're gonna head down now. We've, uh, we ran out of water which is a rookie mistake but luckily before this trip I bought a water filter so we find any water we can just filter the water and drink it very nice let's do it yes so as we arrived at the van we actually met a couple that we met on the trail and tomorrow they're actually doing the same thing as us going to Brajkestan it was meant to be really bad weather and apparently it's looking a little bit nicer tomorrow so maybe we even do a hike even though the plan was to just do a bit of office work and that but anyway so we've come back to the place we camped last night because it's beautiful and no one's here have a beer have some dinner and get to know some German people because they said they'll come join so 
that's the way you do it in van life. You meet some fellow van lifers and you all have a big old party with a view like this. So, very nice. And my mic just fell off. Check this out. <laughs> very nice stuff. Thanks, Road. We're on the way to the next location, which is going to be Prakastron. But it's absolutely pouring with rain. We're going into a thunderstorm. This is the first hardcore Norwegian rain we've seen since arriving. But we've been expecting a bit more of this, to be honest. So I think we're pretty lucky that we've been here for a bunch of time already. And we've only had beautiful weather. So it's going to be a few days of cups of tea and cozying up in the van, getting some work done. So very good, but uh, change in the weather has arrived. Absolutely stunning. It's like a whole wall of waterfalls. safe to say this is the most busiest hike I've ever done so maybe give this one a miss if you're in uh, Norway because I'll tell you at the top if it's beautiful and then maybe do it but this is pretty insane <laughs> Beautiful hike here in the quiet nature. What do you reckon? Enjoying the quiet nature? Yeah, I enjoy it. It's very quiet. So, solitude. Yeah, I enjoy it. So we made it up. And it's a, uh, it's a beautiful view. Thanks to the fog and all the people. Crazy, crazy. So this queue here. So everyone getting a photo here. And then all the photographers stand here and take here. Yeah, and take uh, photos of the insta babes. <laughs> mm. You gotta check this out guys. Oh, let me show you. The sun is finally coming clear. So even though the main part of this hike is insanely busy with people, there's little places like this that you can come to still just off the path and find beautiful views with nobody around, which is pretty nice. So I encourage you if you're on this hike, find little spots because like look at this view that I'm looking at right now. So yeah, so far, great day. Even though I said earlier, this hike is a little bit um, busy. It's still worth doing because it's absolutely stunning, incredible scenery, and as long as you can put up with a few people, then it's very much worth it because the views are absolutely unreal. So we've left this morning the campsite at Prekenstorn. Now we're on Route 13, heading towards a place called Oda. ODDA, I think it is. For now, we just gotta enjoy beautiful places like we're driving through right now. So show the good people the beautiful scenery, Nina. Very nice. I just need to go on a ferry to go to the other side. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, it's a daily thing here. Continue straight onto Rick's Bay 13. So 
we've been driving along on the Route 13, one of Norwegian's scenic routes, and we've decided to stop over at a little restaurant and get some fish and chips because we've actually not been out to eat at all this whole trip. And uh, in the north, fish usually gets pretty good, so keen to try some local fish. This is a 600 gram burger. What the heck? If you're Norwegian and you eat a 600 gram burger, <laughs> you have problems. So we just had a quick stop over at this pretty epic little spot where the salmon are jumping up the rapids there, so pretty cool. But anyway, we're on to the next place. Uh, our new made friends, Julian and Bubsy, is uh, at a pretty epic little wild camping spot, so we're going to get back in the van, and go for a little drive, find a place to sleep. Good morning. So I thought, as we're at this stunning little place, I thought I'd quickly run up here and show you where we are because we've just pulled off basically on a bit of a mountain pass off the Route 13. And this place is pretty epic. Look at this behind me. That, it's not a bad place to be parked up. I'll leave the coordinates here for you so if you're uh, passing through, you can find this one. Our friend Julian and Barbara, they were here before us. They've actually just headed on to do a hike today, but I wanted to get a little bit of work done in the van, so not a bad place. The advantages of wild camping, sometimes you get the more cooler places. You just don't have a bathroom, but with a Graham California, you have a bathroom, which is awesome. Well, it's pretty cold. We're, we've done about 1,200 meters now, so we've just got a tiny bit more before we reach the top. Oh, there's all that stuff. But uh, yeah, all the cold wind is hitting straight onto us from the glacier, so gotta get the jackets on to try to cut a bit of that wind out because it's pretty chilly. Alrighty, so we've made it to the top. Here's the proof. I gotta show you this incredible view. It leads down to there. It's just, and this just goes all the way around. It's 
So yeah, it's very nice, it's very cold though. So if you do this hike, even if it's a beautiful day like today, make sure you bring like a shell jacket and stuff because the cold wind from the glacier is gonna rip you to shreds. I highly recommend this one. This is the name of the hike, by the way, in case you missed it. And uh, you can probably find links to the blog down below. Anyway, time to go down. Pussy ciao. Can we, can we do one photo of both four of us? A photo? Yes. Of course. Oh shit, why am I doing this again? <laughs> After a long hike down, we drove north to a campsite in the town of Kinzevik called Kinzevik Camping. The campsite was really well run, very clean, and had a stunning view looking out over the fjord. This was one of the last stops with our newly made friends after travelling and hiking together for the past days, as our future plans were different from theirs. One of the best things about travelling is making new friends along the way, and those two really reminded me how important that aspect of van life and travelling is. After Kinzevik, it was time to yet again head more north. A lot of the landscapes up until this point had in some way felt a little similar. Incredibly stunning, but some of the mountains felt similar in their shape and terrain with fjords circling around them. In the next section of our journey, we go and mix things up a bit and check out some wildlife, one of the coolest saunas I'd ever been to, drive a road made famous by James Bond, and explore Norway's most beautiful valley. So for now, this is the end of this video. I hope you got some good info about Southern Norway in case you're planning a trip yourself. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe as we have three more videos from Norway still to come. Thanks for watching.